What's up, everybody? Uh, Jason here from jazpiescasebreaks.com doing Allen and Ginter 2019 baseball 12 box case break number five. Pick your teams. So we just did a actually, let me switch back and forth. We just did a high end team random for pick your team number five. We, we gave away these teams. Uh, there's a list right there of how it shaped up. And then, as you can see here, we just plugged it in. So if you have a little error on there, there's the teams you want in a team random. So there you go. All the way down to John with the non-baseball. So anything non-baseball will be going to John. And I believe this is the case. If it's not, <laughs> we're in trouble. So this Allen and Ginch has been very nice. I've been fortunate enough to break a couple of these cases on eBay. Um, hopefully I can pull some heat for you guys on the website. I remember that one year they had box top cards in the box toppers. Like you literally physically had to rip open the box topper or the box lid. And like people didn't find out until like weeks after the release. And you know how many boxes that probably were thrown away after all that? I'd be so pissed. I'll just show you guys right there. There is the 12 boxes. All right, so this should take me about an hour, guys. Uh, I time myself. Should be about an hour, maybe a little over. Three hits per box, guys. It doesn't mean you're guaranteed an autograph. It's either a relic, an autograph, a rip card, uh, maybe a silk card could be part of a hit. I pulled a silk card in an eBay break last week. So a lot of different hits, and obviously a lot of non-sports. So that's why non-sports is own category, own team sold. The one non-sport artist I want to pull is a. Uh, Post Malone. <laughs> Be very nice if I can pull him. Alrighty, good luck everybody. And we'll check all the minis at, after every box to see if there's any numbered minis. There you go. Numerous. Oh, 1296. Little English Bulldog. Springer Mini. Texas Rangers Jenkins. Comfortable. And our relic is Castellanos for Detroit. 
Uh, Detroit, that was Edward. That's actually last Bob Mojo of the team random. So there you go, man. That was something to start off for you. Next one. A little mini there of Hoffman. Jimenez. Hap. Boston Terrier. Dawson. And Ramirez. Jose Ramirez. Uh, for eBay, Garrett? Yes. If you're talking about eBay. That will be tonight. That'll be in about, what, two and a half hours or so? Cleveland Indians. Sorry. A little mini Great Dane right there. So, yeah, on Sundays and Mondays, I dual stream. I do the eBay and the website. So, not too many eBay breaks usually on Sunday and Monday, just two of them, maybe three. Um, but then more focus on the website. And then back Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, just all eBay for me in the studio down from Joe in my studio over there. Yeah, those are quick breaks that we'll do in a couple hours. And we got a frame. And it's Vladimir Guerrero, framed mini relic. That is Montreal Expos edition, which will be going to the Washington Nationals. So there you go, Jim. Thanks. Let's double check these minis. Last time I found an out of 25 numbered one in the first break I did. So I'll have to double check. All right, and I know I, I actually on eBay I've been just did them all at the end of the break, but since there's 12, I'll just do it every box. And we got Houston Astros Altuve. Which is a N43 box loader card. There you go. Actually. All right, guys, next box.
Alrighty, guys. Second box of Allen and Ginter. This is Pinkerton number five, guys. Uh, number six is already sold out, but we just need to sell out the team random, which I believe we can still do that tonight as well. And do another case of Ginter. Alright, guys. Good luck. Little giant pumpkin. Start us off. Donnie Baseball Mini. Cobb. Marte. Labrador. Jackie Robinson. And a Chipper Jones frame mini relic, bat relic. Game used memorabilia as well, Atlanta Braves. Trey with the Braves in a team random. There you go, man. And then we'll do a little hit recap as well once we're done with the break. Next one. Rodriguez. Conforto. Diaz. Story. Joey Votto. And a Freddie Freeman relic for the Braves. Another one for the Braves. There you go, man. Languages. Tory Hunter. I think that's the book that Joe pulled. Like PYT number two, I think it was. Dijon. It is Loriano, framed mini autograph for the Oakland Athletics. Ramon. Oakland A's. Walter. It's a framed mini rookie autograph. Very nice. And then O'Neal right there. Take a look at all these minis. Make sure they're in the numbered cards. Is that a big? Is that a good rookie, Grego? Again, besides some of the bigger rookie names in baseball, I don't really follow baseball as much as I do football and hockey. Just know pretty much more of the bigger names. At least in my name, at least in my books, it's a bigger name. And we got an Aaron Judge, Allen and Ginter, cabinet box loader. So there you go. Yankees with that one. It's going to be Ryan. Oh, really nice, man. Awesome. So there you go, Walter. All right, next one. Yeah, well... <laughs> Yes, there is technically a couple of hockey cards here. Actually, you know what, Trey? Those are only the those those that dual autograph I pulled you of the uh, uh, Hull brothers. Actually, the only two hockey players there are in this set besides uh, Hillary Knight. I think she's the only ice hockey player card besides uh, the Hall brothers that are actually in this set. I don't think there's anybody else. And then Hillary United, as you can see, she's biting the gold medal that the U.S. women's team won. 
the Olympics a couple years ago. Hillary Knight's actually a really good hockey player, though. So hey guys, I keep on getting some orders and keep them coming. I mean, if Allen and Ginter were to sell out again right now, I, I can probably fill up the next one before eBay as well. Or maybe not actually. Might have to push that after eBay, but it'll still definitely break tonight. Or no, you know what? I could break it. I think my breaks are not until 7, so I have 2 hours. If I get done with this in the next 30, 40 minutes, be at 5.30-ish, break it, be done by 6.30-ish, 7 the latest, and then I can actually start. So yeah, I can run back another Ginter. All right, Ken Griffey Jr. Mini, Jansen. Spaniel, Burns. LeMayu. Zobris. Oh, yeah, we could probably do NT then. And Butcher is for the non sport, who's actually a comedian. Never heard of this person before. There you go, non-sport. It's going to John. With that one. Olsen. Chitsu. Kutchen. There's a mini right there of Davis, Barrios, Hernandez, and Clayton Kershaw for the Dodgers. Dodgers, that was a team random as well, Javier. There you go, a little relic of Clayton Kershaw. Last stack here. Should be one more hit hiding in here. Pizza, Piazza, Sheffield. A little posty. All right, behind Jackie. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Framed mini autograph for the non-sport. Sister Sobeck. First pitch celebrity. <laughs> Sister Mary. That's pretty nice. I have no idea what she's going to sell for, but... I know the framed mini autograph non-sport collectors will go crazy for this. That's pretty cool. There you go, John. Right at you. There you go. <laughs> Alrighty. 
Now let's look at these minis really quick and make sure there's no numbered cards. Alright, no numbered minis. And let's do the box topper. I did pull a box topper autograph in an eBay break. Jacob DeGrom. It's one of those cabinet box loaders. So that'll be going to the New York Mets and Richard Zitterman. There you go. All right, next box. So the box topper. Alrighty guys, next box, box four. One third of the breakaway. Guerrero Mini. Rocks Mini. Toe Wrestling. I didn't even know that was a thing, but I guess it is a thing. Trout Mini. And Sato. Actually, actually met this girl. Uh, this woman at the National. He's actually a former breaker from Tokyo, Kazoo. I don't know if he still does his own stuff, but she's actually a tops artist. Really, really cool. There you go. I think she's the one that also creates all the transcendent... Uh, Transcendent cards of the sets of the I think she does the living sets as well. She does a lot of different things actually very very great artist And you got Jake Lamb relic for the D-backs. Javier with the D-backs in a team random. All right, we got one hit right here hiding. Good luck. French Bulldog. I am not sure what ships or what doesn't. I know no vet base ships. Everything else should. So I'm assuming 
the minis will ship, but whatever. What does it say in the description? Actually, that actually, if it doesn't say anything, I'm not too sure to be honest. It says all rookies insert sharpens variations and number cards will ship. Other and other hits will ship. No common ship, so I'm not too sure actually. You can probably email us though, Trey. Oh, we got our first rip card. Rip it or keep it. Larkin. Barry Larkin. Cincinnati Reds. Shortstop 28 of 75. Cincinnati Reds. I think that is uh, Rashad. There you go. Let me know if you want to rip it, buddy. Could rip it at the end of the break or something. I think I went through this already, right? Yeah. All right, let me double check the minis. Uh, Garrett, for for which break? Are you talking about this break? For Ginter? If you're, if you're talking about for Ginter, no. If you read in the item description, I think it says uh, no veteran-based ships, but everything else will. But if on eBay, if you're talking about eBay, yes. Everything on eBay ships. I know you talked about Black Gold earlier, so I don't know if you meant. So continue to talk about that. And we got a Bryce Harper. Cabinet. Box loader topper. And it looks... It's a little dirty right there, doesn't it? <laughs> What's going on? All right, next box. I have a ton of orders coming in, guys. What are you guys thinking of? Is the NT coming up next? I should be done with this by, let's say... Maybe 5.40 around there. Yes. They're, I think, behind the rip card that tells you. I think it says... Uh, there could be a red mini autograph, exclusive mini parallel, mini wood parallel, mini metal, or a one-of-a-kind sketch card. Just like in general, uh, if Luminance Elite... Um, it all just depends, man, to be honest, Garrett. Each break is different. I would want to tell you, though, I think heavy base stuff. I, I don't think we ship the veteran base anymore. Uh, we, we donate it. But, of course, I think... I think we still offer that i'm not too sure but you can always message us and if you want the base added to your team you pick or team you get uh you can always email us and i think we'll just charge you a little couple extra dollars on shipping but for the most part um i think some of the heavier base products we hardly don't ship if it's small if it's not really much heavy base then we do ship but i think uh we've already gotten to where we kind of don't ship the veteran base i know some people may want it so that's why i think be message us or something like that. I'm sure we guess they'll ship it out to you, but have to pay the extra couple dollars on shipping. But 
you'll definitely know in every item description. I think elements should have it, you know, stuff like that. So, for the most part, we're pretty good about leaving it in the item description. So, if you do read it, you'll see it there. But, yeah, I'm always here to answer, help out as much as I can. All right, the Bloom. Playborn. No problem, man. But, yeah, for the most part, I don't think so. But, it all just depends on the product. Elements is close as well. Nice, Trey. Right? Let's do this some elements. I haven't seen any of that. How is that? How is that elements football, guys? I'd like to do at least a break today or tomorrow. And we're on live Sundays and Mondays, the days that Joe's are Joe's off, and Joe's back. Uh, Tuesday through Saturday. Ryan Braun. Brewers with that one. So we're seven days a week now, guys. Have been for about the last like month and a half, maybe two months. Yeah, I know Elements is always uh, they've had the nice the nice autograph plates and stuff like that, right? It's not really a printing plate, but they were able to put the the card on the plate, which looks pretty cool. Color on the plate, I mean, sorry. Crawford. There's Hillary Knight. Beltre. Simmons. And for the Dodgers, Chris Taylor relic. Javier with the Dodgers. stack right here guys O'Neal Goldschmidt We have for the Padres, frame mini autograph. San Diego Padres. Max, there you go. Luis, Urias, Urias. It's a rookie. Double check these minis. No numbered mini cards yet. I'm sure some of them are short printed though, so obviously our shipping team double checks that too to make sure that any short prints get shipped out if the minis don't ship. Javier Baez, Allen and Ginter, cabinet box loader. So I'm about like at 33 minutes, which means I'm halfway. So yeah, I'll, I'll be about an hour, maybe 10 minutes or so. So I should be done by 5.45. I'm going to try to pull for that. Let's see if we can make that time. So that also gave me about an hour and 15 minutes or so to do any other breaks on the main channel. Then I just got to quickly do two breaks of Black Gold Football on eBay 2016. And then um, go back to any website breaks. So depending on when Allen and Ginter was to fill, if it doesn't fill maybe by 6 o'clock or something, we may just push that back. So after eBay, 
And that'll give us time to maybe fill up like elements. I don't know how long elements breaks, but I don't feel like it's too long. Can't be as long as Ginter. We could do another NT break after this. I think that's pretty much full as well. Oh snap. I'm stacking it up. Um I feel like this is the stack right there. <laughs> Our next box, guys. Zobras. Onkata. Hoskins. Seaver. Musel. And there you go, Hillary Knight. Little relic. And used memorabilia. I don't know if it was from a Team USA jersey. I don't know if she was just wearing a t shirt. But there you go, hockey player for the US Women's National Team. That'll go to the non sport. For the Post Malone Mini. <laughs> Hoskins, Pettit, the monorail, Bueller, Old Door. Tatis Jr. Mini, Snyder, Arietta, all right, what are we hiding over here, guys? What are we hiding? Deion Sanders Mini, Sheffield Rookie Mini. And it's another rip card. 28 of 75. Rip it or keep it. It's Vladimir Guerrero Sr. Montreal Expos, which would be the Washington Nationals. Jim Bly. So there you go. This autograph, uh, this, sorry, this uh, mini rip card can contain a mini autograph, red parallel autograph, exclusive mini, mini wood parallel, mini metal parallel, or one of a kind sketch card. So there you go. Washington Nationals, let me know what you want to do. Up the box top 
And it's Glaber Torres. It's cabinet box loader. There you go, there's the uh, gold frame hot box, I guess they say, or one per case. So I believe when it comes to this, I don't know if we have been shipping these out, but I, but I assume that these ones will ship. Just because they're a, a parallel version of the cards. All right, good luck. Next box. Trolley. Severino. Conforto. Oh, and we got an autograph. Framed mini autograph of Gary Van Yurchuk. Who is a entrepreneur? They go non-sport. Let me see this stays right here, actually. What does he do, guys? Is he, is he just a poker player or something? <laughs> Okay. Media mobile. Pinstripe relic for Arenado for Colorado. Danny Patera. Well, here you go. Saying this is such a big hit. There you go. John Oakery with the non baseball. Oh, Rizzi, really? Oh, that's cool. How many people are actually going to go to the Nationals here? Chicago Nationals are always very popular. Although I did like the Atlantic City one, though, a couple years ago. That one's pretty fun. Yeah, 
You're going, Jared? Yeah, I wish we were going, but... You know, with us opening up the new store, that's pretty much the number one priority and getting that up and running. Oh, look at that. Out of 10, we got a Silk. One of 10. Silk for the Cleveland Indians. Ryan Redman with the Cleveland Indians. Team Random. Very nice. They're pretty cool. Kind of feel it's feel the silk too. Very nice. Rains. And Ian Hap. Chicago Cubs. Yeah, Sean got a hot box right here, man. These are cool. I actually did like the hot boxes from a couple years ago. Like the cards were glossy. Not that these cards aren't glossy, but they were glossy. Like just around the photo of the player or person. Next box. Well, actually, they may open up the box topper, but I need another uh, another shoe box to put these cards in. Chris Bryant for the Cubs cabinet box loader Chicago Cubs is Paul Hutchins which is a team random all right next box we got five boxes to go guys including this one then we'll have four open four left to open so far we've gotten some pretty nice non-sport autographs we've got two rip cards already See what else we can pull out of here. We do have another one of these cases in the store that it is sold out, guys. All we need to sell is the team random. I do see about like 10 orders, 12 orders I need to go through. So not sure what's going to come up next, but I feel like NT basketball should be sold out by now. And maybe the next team random. I know Elements has been selling. So anyway, guys, I have about an hour and a half till my next eBay break. So by the time I get done with this, about an hour and maybe 10 minutes. So I probably could squeeze in maybe another Ginter, but it's going to be kind of cutting it. So depending on when it fills, if NT Basketball filled first, we'll just push that after the eBay breaks. They're just two quick breaks, guys. One starts at 7, one's at 7.15. There are 10, 15-minute breaks of black gold football, so I'll be done by 7.30. So we'll go back to breaking on the website, and then I'll be done for the eBay for the rest of the night. And back on eBay tomorrow. Whoa. What is that? Looks like Mini was cut off, or unless it's meant to be cut off. Xbox. Ooh. Look at that right there, guys. 
stained glass cards coming up. That's three for three that I am, guys. I feel like I've pulled a lot of these stained glass cards in every break I've done. And we got a stained glass of Omara for the Blue Jays. Or Alomar, sorry. Omar. Alomar. Nice. Toronto Blue Jays as DeGrouche. I don't think we have tobacco top loader, so we're just putting him in here for now. These are pretty cool. There still should be. There you go, Relic. Professional poker player. Is that Gen? Is that a C or a G? Alright, next one. Andajar. Yankees. Oh, here's that card that I was looking at. Is this supposed to be like this? This is literally how it came out of the box. It's like the, it's a dog bit on it or something. Unless that's how it's supposed to be. It kind of makes sense, but I don't know. We'll put in a penny sleeve or something. I don't know if that's a weird hit or something, but... I think, I think it's just messed up, to be honest. I feel like it's just messed up. Yeah, right? I, I mean, I don't know if it's meant to be like that, but... It's the first one I've seen, so I'll just put in a penny sleeve and top load it, so maybe it is like a rare card or something. I don't know, Alan Ginter is weird like that. <laughs> like I think uh I think Trey when he bought the non sport for me on eBay when it didn't sell on time on eBay, sold it in the in the chat, he was just like, Pull me something weird. It's like, yeah, that's pretty much what you're looking for in the non sport. Yeah, I'm sure that's what it is. It's probably just a defect, but you never know. Sometimes it'll sell for more just because of that. And we got a frame mini autograph rookie for the Houston Astros. That is uh, Joniel Perez. Or is that a C? I think it's a G, though. There you go, Houston Astros. Walter. Loader. Mike Trout. Very nice. Angels. Matt Hastings. All right, four more boxes to go, guys.
All right, next box. Harper Mini. Clemens. There's a mini umpire. Umpire fan. Vincent. Another one for non sport. Non sport, non baseball. Is it really? I've seen him before, but I don't think I've ever seen things he's done. I've seen the little managers as of lately going to the umpires. Montgomery. Not too sure, Garrett. Um, I just feel like maybe it, they moved on to a different product that's a little similar. But I honestly, sometimes it just may not be as popular. Maybe the sales were down or something. And they just thought of a new product and just kind of moved on. But Black Gold was pretty popular at one point. I mean, I just don't know why they stopped it. But I feel like with all these new products, it kind of just kind of got lost. Like, you know, what, we're just going to get rid of that one and just continue a new one out. I will definitely go, oh, yeah. Maybe it's later. I feel like once we get done with the Gitter, another NT, maybe the elements, it might die down. So, a little bit later if you hear, remind me, and I'll definitely watch it. All right, we got a framed relic. Mike Trout, framed mini relic. There you go, Angels. Matt. All right, three more boxes to go. Oh, I forgot the box loader from the last box. I'll just do both of those right now after I get done with this box. I have both of them right there. Alright guys, keep those orders coming in. Ooh. And the card is just all out of whack. Ooh wow, another glass card. Kinda of don't want to show it, but wow, two glass cards in the same case? Damn.
All right, next box, and then I'll do the two box toppers uh, before I start the last two boxes. And there you go. Wow, it's a Derek Jeter. Frame, uh, sorry, stained glass mini. Yankees. That's Ryan Redman who picked up. We got the Yankees in a team random. There you go. I think someone told me that Mariano Rivera was going for a little over 200, so. You gotta think that this Jeter's just right there. Awesome. There you go, Ryan. Oh, no problem. Hey, there you go, Ryan. Congratulations, man. Michael Franco. Phillies. Scott with that one. Wheelbarrow Racing. Angels Relic, Albert Pujols. I'm oh, sorry, not that one. <laughs> Let's grab that one to put away. All right, last stack right here of this box. Osmere. Alonzo. All right, and behind Clemente is an autograph for the San Francisco Giants. Frame mini autograph of Derek Rodriguez. Giants, Steven Wilkerson with the Giants in a team random. There you go, man. Alrighty, guys. All right, let me do these box toppers really quick. So this one actually came out of this box. And it's Bryce Harper. And then this one was from the last box. We just did. Ronald Acuna Jr. for the Braves. Actually watching the Braves game right here, Josh Donaldson just hit a bomb. All right, two more boxes to go, guys. All right, guys, so if the next Allen and Ginter fills, guys, I'll probably have to push it back to after the eBay breaks just because they're coming up at 6 o'clock and... I'm about to be at 110, so I'm almost done. So it's gonna take me a little over, and I don't wanna, I don't wanna have to push back the eBay breaks since they're very quick breaks. I'm assuming that NT sold out, so we can still do that. And if Elements, we might have time to do that as well. But if another Allen against her, it'll just break at 7:30. If it this, if it has sold out, so just FYI. 
And we'll do a little break schedule as well in the chat. You guys want to do fanatics? We could do some fanatics. I've only done a couple of those jersey breaks, so I would like to do another one. We're, we're getting close, guys. I think, what do we need to fill up? 32 of those? We're at, like, what, number 21, 22 around there? So, getting close to giving away some break credit. Austin Matthews autograph Leafs jersey. Austin Matthews, guys, a very, very great hockey player. You could easily sell that for, like, 500 bucks. I know on the Fanatics website, 600 but if you sold it off of Fanatics, I'm sure you can get like 500 bucks for that. You know what I mean? Second to last box, everybody. Oh, nice. Nets are the only ones left. All right, so we should be doing NT. Yes, is the Team Randoms still available, John? Yeah, so regardless if that fills, uh, I'll still push the break back to about 7.30, if anything. Just don't want to have to delay those eBay breaks. Doolittle. Washington Nationals. So, but it'll break tonight, though. I'm sure it will. Just have to push it back just a little bit. Not too, not too much. SKS, what's going on? I got the Nets. All right, well then, got to go through the orders just to double check, but it looks like NT should be coming up next. Of course, we did put certified up as pre-order, so I'm sure a lot of orders are coming in for certified. Um, so I'm sure that's pretty much what's selling out. Maybe elements, footballs maybe going down. So I do have about close to almost 17 orders to go through. So a lot of them could be for certified, though. So right now we'll double check once we're done with this break. Carpenter Relic for the Cardinals. Oh, 12. All right, so we still got a little ways to go. So, all right, cool. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, somebody... Joe probably sliced something, or somebody did. <laughs> Someone probably just went too rough and... All right. Stack right here. frame I'll leave that one right there wow hornsby look at that pulled one of these the other night too game use rogers hornsby st louis cardinals i wish i could logan <laughs> It's just they have to want to rip it. I can double check. I think uh, Jim had one for the Nationals. And the other rip card, I forgot who it was. But if they're here and they want to rip, they can. All right. And behind this person, it's a rookie. Dean. You guys got an extra bonus hit in this one. Miami Marlins. Austin Dean. Frame mini autograph. Marlins, Jordan. There you go. Yes, Larkin was the other one. You're right. Yeah, I remember who had who had that. The Cincinnati Reds. So that was Rashad has that one. So 
Unless they're here. <laughs> like I said earlier, I've only ripped like three of them in my whole life. So I want to definitely rip more. Look out below! Havasu Falls. There you go, that'll go to the non sport. And the last box, everybody. Good luck. Wow! Are you kidding me? We have one of those, uh, I think Joe pulled one of these. This is a thick card right here. This is one of those triple rip cards. Wow. All right, we'll see who that is at the end of the break. Yeah, this, this case has been great. <laughs> Man, I would love to rip that triple. All right, who's here that's actually in the break that'll allow me to rip the rip card if I pull it? So I can root for you at least. <laughs> I don't know, man, but those triple rip cards are actually going for really, really good money. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't be mad if you hesitant to rip that card because I think those are going for like five, six hundred dollars. At least that's what somebody said. Depending on the player too. And if it's like Jim or or uh, Rashad and you get that triple rip, at least allow me to rip the little one, you know? At least allow me to rip the little one, you know, if you get that triple rip card. You know, because I feel like when you're getting them out of 75, maybe out of 50, it's all right just to rip it, you know? You know, if it's out of five, you know, double rip or something like that, then I understand. I feel like out of those 75s, there can only be so much bad stuff in there. I bet you more good stuff are in there. So it makes you think twice. Like, oh man, it's selling for like $75 to $100. But you never know. There could be that wood one one in there. There can be a red ink mini autograph in there. So it makes you just take a risk. And also, you can still sell the rip cards. One of my buddies uh, still sold his Mike Trout uh, double rip card with pool holes a couple years back. And he ripped it open, I think. And he sold it still for like $100. Even though at the time he could have got like five, $600. Sealed, but he just, yeah, you know what? I'm okay with it. I guess something cool if not. As long as the rip card isn't like too ripped up, people will still pay for it. So that's why when I did a couple customers a couple years back, I, I took my time. You know what I mean? Like I didn't, I didn't want to damage it. Some people are just like, just rip it. <laughs> you know? But, anyhow, let's go. <laughs> yeah, triple Adam done that. I'm sure the added triples are very low numbered. Which one was the, how, how low numbered was Joe's that he got a while back, uh, last week? Was his, was it a low number? I assumed it had to be low numbered. Can't be like out of like 99, can they? Or out of 75? That'd be crazy. All right, then we got Dahl, David Dahl. Bat Relic. Colorado Rockies. Now I'll do a little hit recap video as well right now, guys. Naka is that one? Albies. 
Atlanta Braves. Alrighty, guys. Last hit of the break, including the t box topper, which I believe is a rip card. It's really thick, so unless just my luck, it's like a huge rip card filler. <laughs> then the then just like a or huge uh, box topper filler, just a regular filler in there after card. So I don't know, but I assume should be a triple rip card. It's like they play me. Just put one of those like blanks in there that are the size of a box topper. <laughs> All right. Well, there's Andrew McCutcheon. And behind Robinson is it David Ortiz, frame mini relic. Boston Red Sox, Eric Bailey. There you go, man. Let me check these minis out, and then we'll go open up the box topper. All right. No numbered minis in this one. All right, and the box topper, which has to be a rip card. Good luck. It's Bryce Harper for the Phillies. 54 of 65. Scott V. Rip it or keep it. To discover three collectible exclusive mini cards embedded inside. It'll be an exclusive mini stained glass parallel. An exclusive mini parallel, an exclusive mini wood, a mini metal, one of a kind autograph sketch card, or one of a kind autograph card, or one of a kind sketch card. It's pretty heavy, so I don't know. I feel like the the metal parallel could be in here, but I guess I gotta rip it right here. I don't know. This side seems a little thicker than this side, to be honest. There's I think there's two right here and there's one right here. There you go. I don't know if you're here, Scott. I mean, I know you come watch a little bit later, but if you really want to rip this, Scott, later, I, I'll, I'll rip it for you later. I don't think you're here watching, but very, very nice one, though. I want to, Grego, but I just can't. <laughs> this is a very big card, so it's up to the customer. All right, guys, and there you go. That was the break. So let me do a quick hit, re hit recap video. Besides what you just saw right there, the Bryce Harper for the Phillies. Uh, I think regardless, we got some very nice non-sport autographs. We got a couple of stained glass uh, relics as well. It's pretty pretty solid case, I would have to say. So let's quickly just go over some of the hits. They'll be top loaded as well by the shipping team. But here you go, Sado, Butcher, Frame Mini autograph of Loriano. Got a Freddie Freeman relic, bat relic of Chipper Jones, little jersey relic, Freddie, uh, frame mini of Guerrero, Ramirez relic, Castellanos, again, um, Hap, Silk, Kluber to 10, Hillary Knight relic, Arnado relic, Odor. We have Vanyarchuk, frame mini autograph, who's supposedly a very big hit. I think Jay said he's going to be uh, at the National. Rip card of Vladimir Guerrero for the Nationals going to gym. Uh, frame mini autograph for the Padres. Taylor Relic, Ryan Braun Relic. Here's a rip card of Barry Larkin to 75 for the Cincinnati Reds. Lamb, Kershaw, Ortiz, Albies. Dahl, Dean, frame mini autograph. Hornsby Relic, Carpenter. Doolittle, Rodriguez, frame mini autograph. Pujols. Franco, frame mini autograph, uh, frame mini uh, relic of Trout, Montgomery, little umpire right here, Andajar, and here was some of that top loader, sister autograph right there, sister Mary, Joe, frame mini autograph, 
Got Houston Astros, Perez, mini autograph. I don't know why. I mean, I, I think this is just a defect, but a little canine, I don't know, a little bite mark or something. Put that right there. And we got a frame, uh, sorry, a mini stained glass card of Jeter and Alomar. And then, of course, you guys seen the triple rip card right here of Bryce Harper. So there you go. That was the break, guys. That was uh, Allen and Ginter Picatinny number five. Number six is in the store. It is already sold out, guys. All we have to do is sell out the team random, which I believe is almost down to single digits. If not, it is at single digits. So check it out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you.